Hello, I'm Dr. Mikey Muborn, and this is the course History of the Baptist. So glad that you're with me today, and I'm excited to jump into this course. Uh, before we get started in our course material, I want to go ahead and share with you what's expected through the course and, and, and also ways to get a hold of me if you need to be able to do that. Let me share with you, if you want to, the best way to do this is to go ahead and grab a copy of your syllabus that I've sent you through email or you might have received through Moodle account. Uh, you might have downloaded it from the Psalmist web. However you got it, go ahead and take it out at this time. I'll give you a, a minute to do that as I'm kind of giving you a personal introduction. But um, go ahead and get that out, and that way you can kind of go with me as I walk through some of the important um, requirements that you'll have this semester that are that you that are expectations you will have for the class. Um, as I said, this is the History of the Baptist, CH6150. It's a three-hour course, fall semester of 2018, and the residential class is at 8 o'clock, from 8 o'clock to 8.50 on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And so for any of our online students, I would love to invite you to come and join us at MidAmerica, at the campus during that time. You're more than welcome to grab a seat and uh, enjoy an, um, a residential class with us. That'd be wonderful. Um, as I said, I'm Mikey Mewborn, and and my email address is mmewborn at mabts.edu. My cell phone number is 901-483-1396. I definitely respond to text messaging, um, but you can get a hold of me. I check my email a lot. I check the email, uh, mabts.edu email all the time. So make sure that you get a hold of me as quickly as you need to, and then that way I can respond as quickly as I need to as well. Hey, let's get started looking at the course description today. This course will serve as an interpretive survey of the history of the Baptist from the 17th century to the present. Three specific divisions include the rise and development of the early Baptists, Baptist beginnings in the United States, the formation of the Southern Baptist Convention, and the history of the Southern Baptist Convention to the present. What's interesting about this course is that we're going to look at a couple of different ways that the Baptists began. Um, there are many people who believe in the Anabaptist theory. Uh, there are many people who believe in the Reformation theory. We're going to look at both of those, and a lot of times they're not just theories. They're ways that uh, the, Anab or the Baptists came about, and so so they come from different angles, and so it'll be fun to be able to do that in the class, and we'll kind of unveil that uh, with you. Um, so go ahead, and if you want to, go ahead and start looking at Baptist history. If you want to watch YouTubes here and there, that's always fun. I do that on occasion, and uh, so it's going to be a lot of fun as we jump into this course. Let's look at the course objectives. Uh, to nurture historical critical thinking. Number two, to demonstrate a broad understanding of the historical development of Baptist theology, institutions, and lifestyles from the 17th century to the present. Number three, to develop an awareness of the biblical importance of Baptist views. Number four, to gain an understanding of the origin and development of the Southern Baptist Convention. And number five, to apply knowledge of the Baptist past to current issues and problems in Baptist life. And number six, to create a desire within the student to make reading in Baptist history and theology a lifelong pursuit essential to his life as a Baptist minister. And of course, as Baptists, um, uh, or um, Baptistic beliefs. It's so incredible as we walk through them because you might be a Baptist, you may not be a Baptist. Uh, but what it is, it's good to understand where people come from and why people believe what they believe. Uh, understanding what is a Baptist minister or what, is it, what does it mean to be in the Baptist um, denomination. And so as we look at those things, I'd like for you to kind of consider where you are in your life, consider the Baptist, consider all those things, and kind of see how it all plays out in history. It's really, really fascinating. To be honest with you, I didn't grow up in the Baptist church per se. I grew up more in a charismatic type setting. And so I made a transition when I was 16 years old into the Baptist faith. And so it has been a, a really fun, it was a really fun transition. Uh, there's a lot of things I had to learn and still learning about history when it comes to the Baptist. So this is going to be fun for us as we walk through the different backgrounds and, and, and the different uh, traditions and history of, um, of the Baptist faith. And so that'll be a lot of fun. As we turn the page in our syllabus, you see there the course requirements. Let me run through these really quickly so that you can see what we need. First thing I need is for you to sign the syllabus signature page. And I know as you are online students, I, 
What I really need is for you to post or send me an email that says, I have read the syllabus in its entirety. We're going through the syllabus today, but we may not go through everything. So what I need you to do is definitely go through the syllabus and then send me a message that says, I have read the syllabus in its entirety. Also, the required reading will definitely have required reading for this class. And, um, and you can see on page 13 of the syllabus how you can um, record that reading, or not record it, but actually let me know that you fulfilled the requirement, re reading requirement. Um, the book that we're going to really hone in on is the book by Leon H. Leon Macbeth. Uh, let me show you the book real quick. It's pretty large. I'm not even holding it too close, but it's a large book. And uh, we'll be going through this book as we kind of walk through uh, the Baptist heritage and we'll walk through Baptist history. Um, and so as we go through that, you'll see in your syllabus, you'll see in the schedule, um, there's a way that we're going to go through it. And I want you to stick with me. If you get behind on reading, it's going to be very hard for you to catch up. So make sure that you stay with us in the reading. Also, the second thing that we're going to do is in addition to the reading of the textbook, you will also read 100 pages in journal articles on subjects related to Baptist history. Uh, all reading will be reported at the end of the semester. And that's on page 13 um, that you'll need to make sure that you fill out. Okay. Um, and then, of course, anything that I'll be reading uh, through uh, any scriptures, I'll mainly read them from the ESV version of the Bible, English Standard Version. So we'll be doing those types of things. All right. Turn the page again, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about exams and projects and those types of things. Um, number one is the exam. Each student will complete both a midterm and a final examination. The final exam will not be comprehensive, which is which is a great thing. Um, you will only be required to know what we've learned after the midterm exam on that. The exam schedule is shown uh, in the attached schedule, and so you can see that as well. Um, exams are a very big deal. They count for a great deal of your grade. And the exams that I give, uh, a lot of times I'm asking that you uh, provide for me um, the, uh, in your words, what I'm asking for. Uh, there may be some uh, short answer. There may be some. Um, there may be some multiple choice. But a lot of what I want to see is that you can comprehend this material, that you got it, and that you can also put it down in your words. So I'll be looking for a lot of those types of things. Um, the class project, also known as your paper that you'll be writing, this is a 15 to 18 page paper, completed pages, uh, double space paper um, related to the topic of the class. All topics must be cleared by, by me. So make sure that you let me know um, what you're going to be writing on. And I'll let you know as we get into the class when those are due. The work will be typed and written according to Kate Turabian, a manual for writers of term papers, theses, and dissertations. And we'll be doing, looking at that using the Turabian guide. The paper must be original to its course of 15 pages of text. So here's what that means is your your writing, what you're going to be giving to me is 15 pages of, of what you've done. Um, that does not include your table of contents. It doesn't include your um, selective bibliography at the end. What that includes is its pages of text, things that you have written. So make sure that you know that. You will need 20 sources um, in for this paper. Um, and then four of those need to be scholarly journals. Um, in this paper. The paper will be due on the day indicated in the course schedule and so make sure you will we'll look at that in just a minute and, and you kind of see that. Late papers definitely will be penalized. Um, there is a grading rubric that we use on page 11 of this syllabus to um, that I will go by to grade your paper and this is the way everybody um, grades papers through seminary. So all professors they will look at this grading, they'll look at your paper with the grading rubric and that's the way we'll, we'll go through the grading. Uh, this is a big deal. Let me let me talk to you real quick about honor code. All right. Uh, students are expected to comply with the seminary honor code concerning academic and moral integrity. Academic work that is done by the student will be assumed to be that of the students. Any work that is done where academic dishonesty, plagiarism is involved will be unacceptable with no chance for resubmission. Such violations will be grounds for failure in the course. The student should read very carefully the student handbook for the seminary honor code. Uh, here's the deal. You need to cite everything that you get, whether it's a full quote or whether it's um, it's a thought that you have um, you have rewritten in your own words. You need to footnote that. Um, I'll be checking. A lot of these things are easy to see. 
Um, if I see that you, as I'm reading your paper, and I see that there's something in there that just doesn't seem like your wording or your writing, I'm going to put a mark by it, and then I'm going to check it, and make sure it's not some form of plagiarism or copy and paste from something like Wikipedia or something like that. And so make sure that you uh, make sure you put things in your own words. Make sure if you quote something that you um, you footnote it, or if you even use somebody's thought, just at the end of a paragraph. All you need to do is at the end of the paragraph make sure you put some kind of footnote there and uh, and just mark that right uh, that way you won't be um, you won't be even accused or even close to any form of plagiarism so make sure you know about that um, all right the next thing is book review the student will write a three to five page book review about the book the Baptist heritage the student shall will, should follow the guidelines of the book review worksheet in the syllabus on page 13 and so you'll see there exactly how to put together a book review it's very very simple okay now here's something that's really fun and this is my favorite part of of the course in many ways it's discussion it's 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 um, it's dialogue and what online students are required to do is to post every week and so students are required to post comments online for each class session Tuesday through Thursday so that's three classes Tuesday Wednesday Thursday for their participation grade you have to comment on each lesson now what I'm gonna try to do is offer you a question uh, maybe a loaded question that you can kind of answer and put something um, just answer it however you want to and I'll, I'll try to make sure that I do that even if I don't do that make sure you comment on either your reading or the lesson that you watched and that way we can get some interaction going on because this is the best way to do online courses if you can have some great uh, participation and interaction with students um, and they can be around the country but or around the world but uh, interacting with one another students should respond to both questions posted by the professor and respond to at least one post by another class member so that's what I'll be looking for you were to um, you to respond to me definitely but then definitely respond to other at least one other comment uh, from somebody else. Posting fewer than three times per week will result in a lower grade, lower participation grade. So here's the thing, you need to post at least three times per week, really six times per week, because you're going to post for me and then you're going to post uh, uh, for somebody else. If somebody else writes something and then you react to that, okay? So make sure that you do that and you will be graded on that um, using the discussions rubric on page uh, 12. All right. Um, late assignments. All assignments, including reading reports, are, in, are expected to be turned in on the indicated due date at the beginning of class period, whether or not you are, are present. Late assignments will be penalized five points per day, including weekends. No reading reports or papers will be accepted after the last day of class. So make sure that you know about these things. Okay. Um, missed examinations. Here, here's the deal with missed examinations. You really need to let me know if you're going to miss because you're going to have a period of time. It's usually about 24 hours to complete um, to complete your exam online. I'll give you instructions for that when it gets closer, um, and so you're going to know about that. But if you think you're going to not be available, if you're on a long flight of 20 hours or something like that, here's the deal. Um, you need to you need to let me know and I'm gonna open it up for you earlier so that you can take it earlier uh, I hope that makes sense to everybody so if you have any questions please get with me on that class grading the course grade will be determined as followed par as follows participation 10% midterm exam 20% final exam 20% Paper, 25%. Assigned reading, 15%. Book review, 10%. Okay? Uh, this is a very important thing to note. When, and this is in the seminary catalog, students must earn the full percentage point for each grade. For example, an average of 94.7 is 94%, and therefore it's a B. So if you're close to the A, like a 94.7, but you only got a 94 then that's what you uh, that's what you um, are going to receive in your grade there. All right, uh, grade point averages are determined in a twelve point system, and the grade point value of each letter grade is um, is as followed. And so you can kind of look at that: ninety seven to one hundred is an A, ninety five to ninety six uh, is a minus, and ninety three to ninety four is a B plus, and all that. You can look at all that type of stuff and make sure you let you know about all that.
All right, course and syllabus modifications. Um, all efforts will be made to follow the syllabus as we have it here. But circumstances, however, may necessitate changes to the syllabus or course schedule. The professor reserves the right to make changes uh, as needed or modifications as needed. Okay, the next page, which is page five in your syllabus, is the class schedule. And so we're going to stick with this as closely as we can. Um, a lot of us just reading through Macbeth. There will be pop-up quizzes here and there that I'm going to have. Just kind of, just things we'll do um, that I'll ask you about. But most of it's just online stuff and interaction. So uh, don't worry too much about the quizzes. Uh, if I give you those, it's going to be more or less question-answer thing. Um, very simple. I just want some interaction with the class a lot. And so that's what you'll be looking at. Um, so you see the topics for the day. Uh, you see the readings for the day. So make sure that you know about that. Midterm examination is on October the 4th and so that's a Thursday and you will know exactly what's coming up I'll I'll make that very clear to you um, a week prior to the exam you'll know when it'll be open you'll know when you'll be able to go in and take it and so that's a very important thing fall break no classes uh, from October the 8th to the 12th so make sure that you know about that uh, you won't have any classes to look up online it's a great opportunity for you to catch up if you need to uh, or just take a break if you need to as well all right um, next thing would be Thanksgiving holidays no class November uh, 19th to the 23rd so we won't have any lessons online that you will see and then we'll continue on November 29th will be our book review they'll be due on that day and then the next thing is December 4th uh, term papers will be due and then all the way toward the end of class, you'll have reading, re, reading reports due on December the 6th, and then final examinations um, from 8 to 10 uh, on December the 12th. Now, let me share with you something about that. Uh, that's for in class, uh, that's residential students, but what we're gonna do is that you have a 12 hour period during that time as well to, uh, to take your final exam, okay? Very, very simple there. All right, the next couple of pages are your selected bibliography, and uh, and I'll probably add a few books along the way as we go through this. This way you know, um, this way you, we're kind of up to date on some Baptist history, and by the way, history is always and is changing, so there's a lot of things going on with all those things, all right? Um, just kind of finishing up, uh, page 11, you see the grading rubric for papers. And so um, you can kind of see what I'll, I'll break it down into four different sections. Uh, presentation of ideas, organization of flow, research and support, Trabian style, and then last thing, style and mechanics. And so those are some things that you will, um, you will definitely be graded or the way that you'll be graded. So um, that's very important. If you do very good in those different areas, there's four different areas, you get 25 points. But if you don't, it starts going down from there. So very simple um, on, on that grading. The next thing is posting on page 12. Uh, so criteria, timely discussion contributions, responsiveness to assignment demonstrations of knowledge and understanding gained from assignment readings, and then uh, adherence to discussion guidelines. That's what we'll be looking at there. Page 13, reading report. So I will need to know how, what's the percentage of what you read. And then the next thing is it's a little bit signature page. Um, and I just need for online students to go ahead and just send me, once you've read it through, go ahead and send me. I have read the syllabus through in its entirety. And then the last thing is book review. What I'm looking for there is that, do you know what the book is about? Um, can you give a summary for it? And then kind of do some evaluation interaction with the book so that I can kind of know some of those things. Anyways, it is so, uh, I'm so excited about this class. This is gonna be a lot of fun as we learn about Baptist history. And, um, and so I'm looking forward to doing this with you, all right? Well, we will start very, very soon into our coursework. And so I'll be praying for you and may God bless you as you get started, all right? God bless you, we'll talk to you soon, bye-bye.